I'm Stephanie Adams and I've been a member for a little over a year. So when I first started working out, I was the heaviest I'd ever been in my life. I had my second child and I was having to double step getting up my stairs, like legit sidestep up because getting up plus a child on my hip was just not happening. My knees were creaking, like it was getting to the point of just, it was crazy. So I felt like I was incapable of playing with my kids, um, just having the stamina to do anything really and truly, it was like a struggle, you know? And um, I just battled with health and weight my entire life, really and truly. I'm not, I wasn't that girl who was always thin or always fit. I really had to watch what I ate, you know, make conscious decisions. And so when I had gotten to that point of being so heavy, I just, um, I really had a dream one night. I know this might get into like crazy stuff, but like I had a dream one night that I had been put in the hospital. I was dying and I was like over my body. Okay. And my family was there and like my husband was like, what are we going to do without her? My kids were kind of like, all, two, all three, all three. I have two biological, all boys, yeah, and one is my husband. So they were all there and they're just like freaking out and I'm just looking at them like I'm okay. And on, I, after that dream, I went to the doctor, had some tests ran, and I was just like, this is it. Like, this is ridiculous. You know, I'm almost 40. I'm still almost 40, but I was almost 40. <laughs> I knew it was coming soon. And I just thought, I have got to do something about this. So. so before starting at BFP, what was your struggle? Um, I don't know if I would call it a struggle, but where I found I needed help was I was getting to a place in my journey that I couldn't see any of my results that I was working towards. So for me, I needed to, I was losing weight. I could tell a difference in my health, but I felt like I wasn't getting stronger. I wanted to see my muscles. I wanted to see what I was doing in my hard work and I kind of got to a plateau. I just felt when I came here and I walked in and I met, I just felt like this is where I needed to be. I don't know, it's kind of like a little bit of a vibe that I got. Yeah. Um, so I was willing to make the 20 minute drive and do that because I just felt like it was a good match for me. So once I figured that out and I figured out a time, you guys had a flexible time for me. Um, it is not ideal for most people to hear that I come to the gym at five o'clock in the morning. So that means I have to get up at four o'clock in the morning. Um, but for me, I have to hold myself accountable. I know that I have to set that time out because I hear people all the time talking about, oh, I don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. You may not have time, but you have to make time. So in order to continue my journey, I had to figure out a time to make it. And that's has worked out really great for our family. So. And what's crazy is now, here I am almost three years into my journey. It doesn't feel like three years. Like when you first start, it's like, oh my gosh, like a month and like all of done and lost is this or that and I for me I stopped focusing on that and knew that I just wanted to get healthy and that was my main objective yes I wanted to lose weight yes I wanted to get fit all of those things but my main goal is to get healthy for my family and myself so <clears throat> it was um, it was hard to always keep that same mindset like just slow and steady you know what you need to do keep doing what you're doing trust the process um, and I think a lot of people get sidetracked with that and because they get to a point where I got to where there's a plateau and you kind of don't know where to go and you don't have that guidance especially if you're doing it at home so for me that's when I sought you guys out because I, I needed that extra push I needed to add some weights into it I know all of those things like I understand like you know, to make your body do what you want to do, you have to have muscles to do that. I'm not saying they have to be big or anything like that, but so I got to a plateau and I feel like that's where a lot of people will fall off is they just, cause they get to a point where they're just like, I don't know what to do and it's frustrating and they just stop. Um, and that's what I typically would do. And, but like I said, I had made that promise to myself that if I keep up with this and I do this, I am going to make a point to spend the money, spend the time and, and know that I'm worth what I'm 
doing and what I'm I, doing. When I first started working out, I thought, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do all this stuff. I mean, I was heavy, I was, I was heavy. And I knew that I'd played sports in high school and I knew that my muscles were gonna like remember things. But it's such a hard thing to get your mind wrapped around a journey that takes a long time and, not, and know it's gonna take a long time. It's very daunting. But just know that if you stick with it and like, Believe in your, I mean, I know it sounds so cheesy, but believe in yourself because you really have to. I have a great support system, and, and if you don't have that, it's so hard. But if you have yourself and you just continuously give yourself that positive motivation, like it's definitely doable. Don't give up. Don't give up on yourself. And every day I say, sometimes I say to myself, Stephanie, what are you doing? Like, don't give up on yourself. Like, no, don't do that. So I do talk to myself a lot. I know it sounds crazy. I am not crazy. But um, just stay focused. You know, keep your eye on the prize and it really does pay off if you put in the work. So.